Hello there. <laughs> Do not be scared. I'm not going to harm you, little human. I am simply traveling through my forest and I came across you. What are you doing so deep in the woods? What purpose do you have here? Just traveling through? How sweet. And where would you be going? <laughs> I should have known. Many people who want to go there travel through these routes. Though, what purpose do you have there? It's quite a bit away still. <laughs> it is a good choice to keep stuff private. Though I surely wouldn't share with anyone. It's not like anyone is listening anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me or not, that's your choice. Though I can tell you that you certainly would like to hear out my deal. Well, you see, you're still quite a ways off from your destination. I would be able to help you get there more swiftly. If you were to help me in return. You see, I am a mage of some sorts. If the staff hadn't made that obvious. <laughs> and I need a bit of help with my magic. Not much. Just a little bit of assistance. I need to gather a few more ingredients and I need a second person to help me chant the spell. You don't need to be attuned to the magical presences in this world. All you need to do is repeat after me. And that spell will help me out, help my master out. And in exchange, I will help you out of this forest nice and swiftly and get you to your destination. Such is my deal. So, do you want to take it? <laughs> we can talk about that while I gather the last of the ingredients for the spell. The nature of this spell is quite complex, after all. You see, I need a few things. I need some mushrooms, a few animal bones, and a few more things that we can pick up along the way. <laughs> I'm not doing anything special. Just creating new life, one could say. I am working on a magical project to reunite with a dear friend of mine. Do not worry, they are not dead, just sealed away. They need a body to survive in this world. So, by helping them get a body, I will be able to see my friend again. <laughs> hmm, you seem suspicious of me and my intentions. Is it the clothes or the staff, perhaps? Will you let such feeble things influence you? Aesthetics barely tell anything about a person, after all. <laughs> the staff I wield, it's a gift from my dear friend. I received it a long time ago, and it's been keeping me young all that time. I'm a lot older than I might look. 
What's your name, by the way? I forgot to ask. <laughs> it's a pleasure to meet you. Hmm. You can call me... Sophie, I suppose. My real name is not in this language. And it would not be able to be spoken by your tongue. So, Sophie will do. <laughs> Very well. So, it looks like I found the first ingredient. The mushrooms over there. Do not worry, I'm quite aware that they're poisonous. But I do need them. I also need some animal bones, but I've yet to find any carcasses around. I'd hate to have to kill anything for this. Especially such innocent creatures. <laughs> it would be a shame hearing their screams echo through the forest, alerting everything of what's to happen. Of what's about to come. Perhaps you can help me find the carcass. Oh, please, I promise it won't be all worth your while. Good. Thank you. So, where do you think we should look? Let's go that way then. <laughs> no, I am not a snake. My anatomy is far more human than that. Although the appearance could be deceiving, I suppose. I am... Able to survive the winter more than my reptilian kin can. I do produce my own heat, be it less, though I have some traits of the snake. My tongue can detect heat, and my body, well, you know. I am also quite strong. I would be closest to a constrictor snake. I am not venomous or poisonous. <laughs> I'm glad to answer all your questions. Your curiosity is good. Oh, wow, well look at that. How convenient. The carcass. That's just enough. I was worried I would have to find more. I suppose it's a blessing of my dear friend, or you're just that good. Either way, I'm happy to take it. And it seems they are happy too. Now all I need is your assistance in the spell. And the last ingredient. A drop of your blood. Well, technically, it's a drop of mortal blood, but mine doesn't count anymore. Although I am mortal, in a sense of the word, I can be killed, I am not mortal by the spell's requirement. I do not age. You do. A single drop is all I need. Will you please help me? I would really like to be reunited with my best friend. It's been too long. And I promise you, it will not hurt you in any shape, way or form. You will walk out of everything that happened here unscathed. Well, if you refuse, then I cannot guarantee you that safety anymore. I need your blood, after all. And I need to make sure that I see my dear master, my dear friend again. They gave me all this power, all these gifts, to help them get free. 
So you are going to help me. Understood? Hey Whispers, I hope you enjoyed today's video. It was definitely fun to record a morally ambiguous character at the very least. Very driven, that's for sure. Well, I am gonna go off and I'm actually about to go training, so I will see you all tomorrow. I am still a little slow on comments, I know, I'm trying to reply to every one of you, I read everything and I'm really grateful for all the kind words, and I'll see you tomorrow. Till then.